On May 1, 2023, a deputy conducting stationary radar noticed a vehicle with heavily tinted windows and no front license plate in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Upon catching up to the vehicle, he initiated a traffic stop. The driver was soon identified as a 30-year-old male named Eugene. Hi there. Deputy Burke holds the sheriff's office. Got your driver's license on you? When asked for his ID, he fumbled around the center console and checked the back seat, unaware that it had been in his front pocket the entire time. Just because of the window tint. Oh, window yeah, tint. I just the oh really? Yeah, I just parked it here. Okay, gotcha. Where'd you buy it from? I bought it in Chicago. Bought it in Chicago? Gotcha. Okay, all right. Uh, do you have proof of insurance to the vehicle at all? Where are you coming from? In speaking with Eugene, he displayed signs of nervousness, such as trembling hands, avoiding direct eye contact, and coming from an area notorious for drug trafficking. Okay, gotcha. All right, that's all right. While you're working on your insurance, I'll be right back with you then, okay? All right. While reviewing Eugene's criminal history, the deputy discovered he was a convicted felon with two prior convictions for possession of heroin with intent to deliver. What's up, man? Hi. How's it going? Oh, it's going. How's this going? <laughs> Good. Um, he's really nervous. He was looking for his ID for a while, and it was in his front pocket the entire time. Doesn't want to make eye contact with me. Says he's coming from Milwaukee. He said that he just bought the car from somebody in Chicago, but he's had the car since the first of February. He's got a drug history. Pull him out, see if he'll give consent. Otherwise, yep. I'll run the dog, so. When asked to exit the vehicle, he questioned the reason behind it while simultaneously glancing down at the shifter of his car and surveying his surroundings. All right, Eugene, you wanna hop an hour quick for me, man? We're just gonna walk right to the front of the car, okay? Just hop out of the car. What's that? Just because I want to talk to you at the front of your car. I didn't tell you did anything wrong. I just want to talk to you at the front of your car. I want to talk to you then. Just, can you hop on out of the car for me? Oh, you don't got to be scared. Is there anything to be scared about? As expected, Eugene swiftly placed the vehicle into drive and rapidly fled at a high velocity. Just hop on out of the car, okay? Don't, don't. Not done anything. Vehicle took off, we're 41 northbound. Speeds right now are 95 to 100. Didn't want to get out of the car. Uh, driving around vehicles right now, road conditions are dry, traffic's light, speeds are 110. He proceeded to drive in a reckless manner, causing other drivers to quickly maneuver and evade potential collisions. You have the driver identified and one five five dispatch. Easy. Go ahead and check with Mike. Passing out of the Winnebago right now. I believe state is in the chase with ninety, but we will call their dispatch. Speeds are one thirty. Due to Eugene traveling in excess of one hundred and thirty miles per hour, the deputy made the decision to terminate the pursuit. I'm going to be terminated here at forty one. I am terminating at 41 northbound and Nora. You just advise Winnebago and also Kelly Matt is he's staying there. He's going back to his address. 90, I could be checking the last known direction of travel just to make sure he's in 1050. 10 for sharp 90. Own occupant in the vehicle, nobody else with him. Was driving on the shoulder multiple times during the pursuit as well. Copy of that, and I'm assuming the driver was the R. While continuing in the direction of Eugene, dispatch received a call from a witness saying they saw his vehicle crash and the driver fleeing on foot. We have a subject on the line. State said that vehicle hit the median near County Highway N and the subject took off running into a cornfield. We're still getting further information. I'm not sure we'll check. Stand by, I'll let you 
Sounds like he was last seen headed back toward his vehicle, which hit the median on an end. He should be on end. Callers couldn't give any more description of a vehicle that... Deputies were able to quickly locate his disabled vehicle and noticed someone pointing in the direction of a field. Subsequently, they observed Eugene standing in the field and advised him to get on the ground in which he complied and gave himself up. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Lay down on the ground! Do not move! Seven to six, we have a gunpoint on end. Seven to six, copy, you have a gunpoint on end. Other units copy. Get your hands behind your back now. Don't move, do you understand? You're what? You're high? Upon taking him into custody, a large sum of cash was located in his pockets. you have anything on you I should be concerned about? Sheriff 7-6 for 1095. Units can slow it down. Sheriff 7-6, I can't be sure anything. Other units can slow it down. Are you injured at all? No? Okay. All right, roll over the other direction. What's your name, bud? What's that? Eugene. All right. What's that? Nobody else in the vehicle. We're sure about it. Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm sure of it, but let's just check just in case. Clear. Why don't you get to your knees? Stand up for me. Copy vehicle. All right. We'll go back this way. I kind of figured that, that that's how that was going to go. I better get charged on mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? I didn't see him take the exit, did you? No. No, I didn't either. I thought I he mean, was... When he when he hammered it, I'm like, I, lis I listened to the exhaust. Yes. I'm like, oh, yeah. no. Don't... Yeah, that's why I terminated is because I could we couldn't I couldn't keep up. So I'm gonna run the dog on the car here. K9 Rip was then deployed on his vehicle and a positive alert was indicated. A vehicle search revealed drug-related items believed to be involved in the manufacturing and distribution of illegal narcotics. Check. Check. Good man! Yes, good boy. Good job, buddy. Sheriff, I need log positive alert on the vehicle. State's gonna be right in the crash. Let's go over here by this tree. Go right down through here, bud. All right, have a seat. Swing forward for me. I'm gonna double lock these so they don't tighten up on you. Berkey, we might want to do an article search over there. We saw where he came out. We got this, but if he had a weapon, he could have tossed it. Well, he was standing out here when I pulled up to the scene. Yeah. I mean, he was just standing there looking at me. Why don't we flip it? He admitted when I arrested him that he's high. He, is, he was so nervous, dude. He didn't want to get out of the car at all. So um, we'll flip it, and then I'm going to do an article search. So. What's that, sir? You need an ambulance? Your right one, do you want an ambulance? Additionally, a fake 7-Up can was also found, serving as a hidden container. Upon opening it, they found marijuana shake at the bottom. Subject is requesting an ambulance for right leg pain. I apologize. Because you're high? Did you throw anything in the weeds? Mm -hmm. Gun, at knives. I just, I, I don't know. One thing I hate on me was your keys. What? It got a yeah. knife on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just hiding this off. Okay. Yeah. Are they needed emergent or not emergent for the ambulance? Not emergent. The pain is from when he crashed. Like, well, you by the fence or more that way? I mean, I'm assuming he crossed straight up through the guy. Uh, I kind of see footprints, like a... Got some water. I don't have any water right now. Um, when the ambulance can hear, maybe they will. Super. Here. Now knock it off. Okay. Go super. We'll just do a pattern here. Let's go 
going back and forth. So, here, I'm getting all tangled here. Come here. Come on, figure it out. Figure it out. Dumbass dog. Come on. Stop. Seats. God damn it. Come on. We'll find it. This is weird as dispatch said that that caller said he was running from the car and then going back towards the car. So he probably did something out here. 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 Live. Live. You're starting to piss me off now. Let's go. I'm gonna call that additional caller and just see if what he's seen. What's up? Your phone wasn't on you, I don't think. <laughs> Did you want to spit? Lean out this way. You can spit. Out. You can spit out. Better. You swallow anything? Said he's high. What are we high on? Weed. <coughs> Turn this way and get your feet out of the vehicle, okay? Here, you can sit this way. Okay, that way if you're gonna puke, you can just puke right off this way. He's been hacking. He adjusted something. Well, the caller said he took off running, and then a moment later he said that the caller said he was coming back. So I don't know if he went out there and hid something and came back. 100%, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. But Guess we're trying anything? to search that. We can't find anything. I'm going to call her, call her back and see if he's seen anything in his hand or anything. Dude, you probably just would have gotten a ticket and yeah, I know. on your way. I'm sorry about that. I was just, I just smoked just clear a... This up and we go do a better search? I just smoked a little weed, that's all. Okay. Can you stick out your tongue for me? Can I get my phone on my car? Make sure I call my... Well, the deputy that originally stopped is going to want to talk to you first. You can ask him, okay? 10 for Sheriff 15. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Afterward, a deputy reached out to the witness to provide a report on their observations. Hi, Deputy Galligan here at the Sheriff's Department. Can you uh, just give me a little rundown on what you've seen? As per the witness, Eugene initially fled in one direction, paused momentarily, then changed course by running in the opposite direction. Okay, so he went across to the north first. I did an article search with Rip over here, sure. but he might be too tired, so if... We find out that he ran this way, and there's wooded. It's there's water over there, so I'm not sure if he. Because um, I mean, obviously he's gonna have dope on him. Yes. Figure out where it went. Yep, absolutely. Okay, well, we appreciate it. Thank you much. Mm, bye. So he ran north first, and then came back across. I don't know. He said he was out in this field. Was over first. there. Propped him to run over here. An open field. <laughs> hey, did we see this? Hey, did we see this Mickey Mouse pill right here? I. That's what I threw at you. I think it's just a vitamin. I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's ecstasy. I've never seen ecstasy shaped like a fucking mouse. I don't think that's a vitamin. Eugene eventually requested to speak with a deputy, stating that he had swallowed a baggie of marijuana. Did you read him Miranda or no? He just. I was listening. Okay. I had a little weed on me. I swallowed it. Some from China. Okay. Is that just what you had? Is just the weed? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, man. Um, I'm going to read you your Miranda warning real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Or to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any. You decide to exercise these rights at any time. And each of these rights I have just read to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to answer any questions without a lawyer? No? Okay. All right, man. Um, so here's the deal. We're. Uh, you're going to be going to jail for the felony fleeing and looting. Yes, sir. First degree, reckless and endangering safety. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so we're we're going to find what you threw out here. So. Yeah, no, no, here. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Can't be that much of it. We would have come across a bag of it. Yeah, Unless it's up here. But you can't jump over that. I ain't going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to get onto his tracks here. He said he swallowed a baggie of weed. That's what I thought. So, throwing out. Yeah. Oh, he was? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry to got, bother you again. We're to the north of where his car crashed or whatever. There's a cut cornfield here. How far out into that cornfield do you think he got? Out in the middle of it? Really?
With this information, deputies searched the initial area Eugene ran to and found a clear plastic baggie containing roughly 1,000 blue pills, which later tested positive for fentanyl, weighing approximately 111 grams. You might want to come out here. <laughs> I didn't see his tracks turn around though. I called the RP back and said he was out in the middle of this field, but I don't know what the middle is. It's a good little amount. Nice M30s. Yep. Good catch. I called that additional caller. He's like, I'm like, how far out in that cut cornfield do you get? Oh, he was about out in the middle. Paul, oh, did you take pictures of where it was? Yeah, right here. Did one of these. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. So I'm all about second chances. All right. Sure, you don't want to make a second chance? What is it? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Huh. I'm all. Okay. I've seen that before, sir. So. Yeah. Right. Cool. So I take it you don't want to talk? That's not mine. Okay. Cool. All right, man. Well, like I said, you're gonna go to jail for a bunch of felonies. So. All right. It's convenient. It's the same color though. Be wearing. Yep. Just let us look. I bring you show. Okay. Hey man. What did he hit that caused that much damage? Unless his tire did that when it broke off. I think he's got it dropped down a little bit, or because uh, when when I was standing right here when we were trying to get him out of the car, I looked and his, his little tire pressure sensor was going off. Check engine light was going off, so like, like I said, when he when he didn't want to get out of the car, I knew that there was maybe something in there. So that's the frame scraping right there. Yep. He scratched the right there. Yeah. Probably went airborne for like a second or so, and then down. landed right there. Yeah. That was him, you think? Oh yeah. He's got his DNA in that water bottle now that he drank from. Can you tell me a little bit about that case in the back? That gun case? You never have a gun. I don't want some kid to find a gun if you tossed a gun somewhere. No? Okay. Alright. So what did he just obviously put it in drive and take off after he said get out? Yeah, it looked like he was kind of having and hawing about it for a second and then... Oh, then she, I mean, when he hammered that gas hole... Oh. Is that a V8? Yeah. I didn't see him until you pointed. Well, I was looking, because I, last I heard is he went back to his car, so I'm like, he's yeah. in his car, so yeah. I'm like, he's in his car. Yeah. And, then I, <laughs> and that dude pulls up and points that way, and then I look over at you, and you're like, oh shit, there he is. Here, you're all tangled up, boy. Here. Stop, dude. You're pissing me off. No, stop. Knock it off. following day, a search warrant was granted on Eugene's vehicle. While inspecting the phone inside the vehicle, the deputy noticed over 180 new notifications, including cash app alerts indicating money sent to Eugene. These numerous notifications and electronic money transfers suggested a potential involvement in drug distribution. With that, a backpack was discovered in the back seat containing a substantial quantity of an unknown white powdery substance. Subsequently, it underwent field testing, but no conclusive results were obtained. Eugene was charged with felony counts of first degree recklessly endangering safety, vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, possession with intent, fentanyl, possession with intent, designer drugs, misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Initially, his cash bond was set at $250,000. However, weeks later, it was reduced to $75,000. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com 
and check out our great selection of quality made merch that won't disappoint.